Good. Well, my name is Mike Rossetti. I'm director of sales for a company called Conversite. Uh, we're based out of Indianapolis, uh, but we have a sales office here in Naples, which I get the pleasure of living in here in beautiful Naples, Florida, instead of Indianapolis. Uh, although I did spend seven years up there and, and do love the Midwest. Um, we're also members of the Greater Naples Chamber of Commerce. I'm uh, proud to be have joined that recently. Um, so just kind of want to walk you through a couple questions before we start. I always like to know the audience a little bit. How many of you uh, work in some kind of business that accumulates a lot of data, whether it's customer data, community data, civic data, financial, anything like that? Most, most companies, right? How many of you feel like you get maybe the most out of that data and you're actually able to take the data, put it into a format that's easy to understand, and then take action from your data that's available to you? Good. Pretty good job. So our company was founded basically under the premise, our two founders came from a company called Cognizant. And if you're not familiar with Cognizant, it's a very large business intelligence firm that works mostly with enterprises. And our two founders uh, worked with companies like uh, Schneider Trucking, UPS, businesses like that, and saw over and over again these companies were spending six and seven figures sometime to basically try to get the most out of their data that allowed them to take action and make insights. Yet still, they saw that 80% of the business decisions that these companies, and probably much more so on a, on a smaller scale, uh, are making business decisions without insights, without actually uh, taking a look at all these trends and data insights that are available to them. Three main reasons for that. Number one, uh, data complexity. It's a specialized knowledge that it takes, basically, to take data from multiple systems and put it into a format that's easy for people on any particular role level to understand. Number two, prohibitive costs. Uh, very expensive. I just told you some of these companies, six, seven figures to basically get these reports from their data. And number three, the information a lot of times was not available when needed. So whether you have your own internal IT department or team that creates these reports for you or you outsource it to a third party vendor, a lot of times it takes days, even weeks to get information back in the form of reports. And by the time you get those, uh, they're, they're obsolete in any way. You need different information or additional information within those. So our company was found under one premise. At home, it's so easy to get information uh, now that with the growth of smart speakers and smart assistants on mobile devices, you ask a question, you get information. What's the weather today? How did the stock market perform? Get information even on the most trivial things. Why can't it be that easy at work? You know, if I'm a sales director, VP of sales, why can't I just ask a question about how my team's performing and be able to get information directly from my multiple set data sets that are out there? So really, what we're doing is we took natural language interaction and brought that into these uh, data sets so where people could just ask a question, whether it's by voice or by chat on a computer or tablet, and get auto-generated insights and actions. Any device, anywhere you go. So give you a couple examples to try to, to help you relate this to, to what you do to your businesses. I, I spent a lot of years in sales, uh, 20 years in sales, it's still, it's still there obviously, and have sat in meetings so many times where there's information that I'm looking for, or something that I want, and you know, a lot of times I took a phone call or an email to be able to get that information. Now sitting in front of my team, I can just pull out my phone and quickly ask a question, how many open orders do we have? What's my profit margin on this particular item? And those insights are delivered to me immediately. Uh, if it's a simple return, like just a number, it's returned to me in voice. If it's a more complex uh, question that requires maybe a chart or a report, I ask that question like, show me profit margin, net margin for my team this year. It's going to generate a line graph. Now with all these reports, these can be easily manipulated to where you can just click on the report and bring it up and change the format. So if I don't like the line graph, and I'd rather see that in more of an Excel or spreadsheet type format, I click that, I hit another button, and it changes the format for me. From there, I can take all these reports and quickly throw them into a dashboard. So within the dashboard, just with a couple of clicks, I'm creating a dashboard that I can then share with my team. I can schedule to have sent by email on a regular basis, whether it's daily or weekly, and these numbers update in real time. So everything that you're seeing here is going to be the freshest, uh, most correct data that I have in my system, delivered in my email every single day. I would like to talk about a couple of use cases because I think that's the best way to, to really understand this. So I, I, the company I worked for prior to coming to Conversate about a year ago uh, had a VP of sales that was relatively new to the company. And they had built a proprietary CRM system. 
And as he was coming in, the owner asked him for a report from his, he had about 45 directs, direct and indirect sales reports. And he was going to each sales rep through email and saying, can you give me some information about this particular campaign? I need to see it uh, by deal stage. So the, each 45 reps were taking anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to pull all this information out of CRM. Then the director of sales was taking that information and spending a couple hours basically turning that into a report format that he could send to the owner. So as I was getting ready to leave in a couple of weeks, he was asking me, so what is it you're going to be doing with this company and what do they do? And I said, all right, the report that your team just spent, say, conservatively 24 hours and maybe as many as 30 hours on, you could have that information in about 15 seconds just by saying, show me campaign A by rep by deal stage. And it would have created a report for you shared to the owner. So going from 30 hours to about 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds to create that report. Quick, uh, I'll end on a customer testimonial, but uh, basically this was a warehouse warehousing customer that we worked with up in Indianapolis, and he had a similar experience. You know, I used to take him two reports, four spreadsheets, three hours of work to get a product margin erosion report. Now it takes a few seconds. Great tool. That testimony was the best, obviously. So, um, really appreciate everybody's time today and the opportunity to present. I want to thank uh, Women and Cubs and the uh, the Coffin Foundation too, and uh, just very glad to be here today. Happy to answer any questions, Chad. Quickly, as quickly as a couple days, and, uh, 
as, as long as maybe um, a month or two, depending on the data set. So, yeah, it really the, the initial getting you test data with your information can be a couple of days <laughs> if the uh, API is relatively easy to access. So, Mike, is there anything that we can do for you as a community? Definitely. So, I, I, this is my second stint in Naples. My wife and I, after moving around, uh, we left, left Naples in 2006. I'm actually a leadership lawyer. Uh, graduate from 2006 and unfortunately I had to leave the community for a job about six months after I graduated and spent about 10 years away in Alabama and Indiana. Came back here a little over two years ago and really the big thing, reason for joining the profit, uh, attending functions like this is I want to get back involved in the community, both from a business perspective but also giving back to the community. I'm a big believer in being involved in chambers, being involved in nonprofits and the uh, warm introductions that help us with business are they're great, but also looking to join some boards and things like that too. Incredible. Give a round of applause.